So this wasn't the video that I was planning on making. I, I was planning on making a video on this topic, but not this specific topic, because I think things have slightly changed. As I was going back over the details of the Kakoni Soda Kickstarter campaign, and I've gone now from, hey, you should be really skeptical about this, to now I think this might just be a flat out scam and should be avoided at all costs. And if you're not already familiar, the Kakoni Soda is a Kickstarter campaign for a new 3D printer from a startup, which is the appropriate place to be launching a Kickstarter campaign. However, there's just a lot of things that have been adding up that just seem a little off about this. And the biggest being that it's for a 3D printer that we've barely seen actually 3D printing anything. Now they have a really nice and fancy Kickstarter campaign video. They've got some cool things in their campaign that show off some visuals of what this printer could potentially print for you, but we really haven't seen anything other than a Benchy from them over on their YouTube channel, which printed very fast. You don't actually see a close up of it. It's printed in white, which you can't really see the quality of the print regardless, even if I was able to get up close to it. And again, the video quality is not great on that. They did send a pre-production unit to another YouTuber. So congrats to that YouTuber that was able to show off the, the machine actually up and running and printing. However, we only see them print one thing from it and it looks like it's a scan of a bust that they made of themselves and the quality looks okay at best. There's really no fine details. Again, printed with white filament so you can't really see the details. However, there's also a toaster that's there next to their bust that I'm assuming is also printed with the same machine and that does not look good at all. Does not look good at all. Now there is a great video by the 3D printing professor that I'll link to down below that I highly advise that you go off and watch that he goes into a lot more detail on some of the ins and outs of that campaign and what their claims are on the 3D printer. In my original video, I was also digging into that a bit more. Uh, however, I wanna take this in a different direction after seeing a little bit more information directly looking at their campaign, which makes me feel like it's a scam. However, before I do that, one thing that's not a scam is today's video sponsor, which is Nico Industries, the makers of some amazing 3D printable files that you can run off and download for a low monthly price. That's right, you get access to a like ridiculously large library of SDL files that you can run off and download everything from cosplay files to armor sets to flexible creatures to you name it, statues. It's all there. There is over, I think, 800 files now that you have access to download download on a monthly basis and he's continually adding more files every week. If you're interested in more information about Nico's amazing membership, you can find more information to that down below. So let's take a look at their Kickstarter campaign and as of right now, recording this, there are 730 backers, 41 days to go in this campaign, and they have amassed over $648,000 in backing for this campaign. Now, I'm not gonna go through every little iteration and note of the campaign. You can definitely go through and look through and see all the details of this. Uh, but what I really wanted to do is take a look at some of the pledge options that are currently available and where I just think this is kind of weird. So the first option is pledging without a reward. That's the, the like a typical thing that you see with most Kickstarter campaigns. Then you have the option for the printer itself. This is the cheapest option coming in at $550. There's no top to it. That's gonna help dampen the sound of it printing from their details of their campaign. So it's just the printer and there are three people that have backed the cheapest option of the printer on the campaign. Then we have the option that's the printer itself with the case on top coming in at 700. There's eight people that have backed this. Then we have an option for the printer plus their old printer. Very odd option there. I wouldn't personally do that, but uh, there's eight people that have backed that. Then the one that I think most people are interested in is the printer plus the multi-material system coming in at $900. And there's 44 people that have backed that. Then we see a combination of the printer, multi-material, and the old printer, and there's 34 people. And then two printers and the multi-material system, there are four backers. And then there's a double combination option of the printer and multi-material system, six backers. Then a five combination option here coming in at four backers. And then there are 10 combinations here. That is $7,600. And there are three people that have backed a printer that we've basically not seen anything on 
other than it printing a Benchy from far away. It's kind of mind boggling to me that this is what it's doing. But what I wanted to call out is there are campaign pledge options that are missing from the campaign. Now I actually created a spreadsheet based on all the available information on the campaign and we can see that there's a total of 114 people that are backing this project based on the information that we can see. So it means that hidden somewhere in here are 618 backers, potentially early bird backers or through the pledge without reward option. Again, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying I've never seen any other campaign hide pledge options. So I was very curious about this. So in order for me to leave a comment and find out what was behind this, I actually pledged the smallest amount available without reward, which is $2. And I went in and left a comment on the campaign directly asking the Kokoni team what exactly was going on with this. And their response was basically, it sounds like they're hiding it so it wouldn't cause any additional confusion for potential other backers. The weird thing is, the really weird thing is, I asked someone else that's running another Kickstarter campaign, they went and tried this on their end, and as soon as they backtrack the date on a particular campaign pledge option, it immediately locks it down, which is good, but it's still visible. There's no way for them to actually hide that. So maybe there's a new setting option in Kickstarter. I I don't entirely know. Again, it's just very odd to me that there's a huge chunk of the backers that we can't see exactly where they're going, if they're real backers or not. Now, the other thing that I wanted to call out that you can actually go in here without pledging anything and see in the comments section, there are comment after comment after comment of people that have backed the campaign asking for updates to actually show the printer printing something. There has been nothing from them in the past, I think over two weeks is the last time we've seen them post anything over on YouTube. Again, it was a time lapse of a Benchy printed far away in white PLA that we couldn't actually see the results of up close. And it's just really surprising to me that they're not able to easily produce content of something printing on this machine when they're expected to be delivering the printers out to people in August. That's in three months. I would assume they were already well into production mode on this by this current time frame here. So in reality, you might not be getting this in August. It might be August of next year if it actually ends up delivering. Again, very, very skeptical of the promises that are being made here in the campaign. The other interesting thing to note is the other people have called out in the comments that depending on where you're looking at this particular printer, in some cases, the print head is small, like here we can see on screen here in this representation. And then in other cases, it's a really large print head and Kokoni has stayed that they're still working on the final design of that. Again, I would have figured they had already had all of this planned out by now if they're planning on delivering this in the next three months. Also, another thing to mention is the multi-material system. Bamboo Lab has really been the only one that's been able to get this successfully working really well. If you remember, Anchor Make also had a Kickstarter campaign where they are promising a multi-material system and you could pledge to back that as well. That hasn't shipped at all. They still haven't even shown that off. I don't even know if that's working at all. Again, just something to keep in mind if you're thinking about backing a campaign like the Kokoni here. And I have backed a number of different Kickstarter campaigns. I have more campaigns that I have recently backed. And there's even a 3D printer Kickstarter campaign that I'm gonna be showing off here. Not for a 3D printer, but 3D printed related for display, a modular 3D printed display case that I'll be showing off next week. Very excited about that. But, uh, this is like the first one that I've really seen that just screams at me that this is not a legit thing. And you are at serious risk of not ever receiving your product. Or if you do receive it, I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna work. Naomi Wu over on Twitter even replied to the 3D printing professor saying that they directly came out to her to show her the machine and could not get it up and running. So. Uh, yeah, that's kind of not a good sign. And again, I just very skeptical that they're not posting anything other than basically that Benchy that we've seen. One other YouTuber posted a 3D print of a scan of their head that again, we're not really seeing any definitive thing that this is an actual machine that is 
really gonna print anything of substance that's gonna look good. Maybe it does print fast, maybe you do end up eventually getting your machine after a year plus two, I don't know. I have no idea how long this is actually gonna take for them to actually produce this. I just wanna call this out as something that I would be highly, highly skeptical of backing if it were me. I'm not personally gonna be backing this. There's no way that I will back this. It's just, it does not seem like it's a legit thing. So uh, be careful with your money out there. I just wanted to make this as a cautionary video of uh, be careful with the campaigns that you're backing because there's no guarantee on Kickstarter that you're actually gonna get the product that you're back. Also, I should say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. I'll be making content here on this channel. If you're interested in things like my resin 3D printer settings, my FDM 3D printer settings, you can find those over in my Patreon. Hey, I will, uh, I got a new video coming up this weekend on resin versus FDM 3D printing. I'm excited to share that with you all, but uh, I'll see you next time.